Hi guys, watch me get ready for the red carpet of Collateral Beauty. First up, Illamasqua's Hydra Veil for a smooth canvas. I was having a terrible stressed out breakout, but luckily Illamasqua's Skin Base is a bloody fantastic foundation. For a more flawless finish, I patted with this Real Technique sponge that I got in a goodie bag recently. Next up is Collections Define and Perfect to add drama to my brows. Then I comb through with Benefit's Gimme Brow. Collections contour stick in all the usual places. Collection again. Just look at those bags. Jeez. Bit of baking via Laura Mercier now. Hopefully it'll make me look a little bit tastier. I left the powder to bake my face for as long as possible. I need all the help I can get. I used the lighter pink from the new ID blush palette for a natural blush cheek. For my new Catherine Lights and Morph collab palette, I used the matte plum tone in my crease. Then this metallic rose gold on the lid. Then to the darker plum on the outer edge of my creases. Next up, I use my new Zoeva eyeliner brush with my Illamasqua gel liner. Am I saying Illamasqua right? Who knows? Max Factor Full Slash Epic on my lashes, funnily enough. God, that is not a flattering angle. Added some of the dark plum colour on the lower lash line. Now to attempt to add lashes for the first time in about a decade. Spoiler alert, not easy. Next for Primark's Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon, which is a lovely formula. Then some Champagne Pop on my nose and Cupid's Bow. added some frosty white on the inner corner of my eye just to brighten a bit and a bit of eyeliner on the bottom lash line but just on the outer edges and the look is complete yay Hi guys, hope you like that little mini get ready with me. So I'm all ready now. I've got my suit on, which is a Jaeger suit, which I got years ago actually. And I've got my new, new look heels, which you will have seen in another vlog if you watched it. 
So tonight I'm going to the premiere of Collateral Beauty, so off to Leicester Square again. This should be my last premiere of the year though, so I thought I'd look a bit different today. That's why I've gone for a suit and it means I don't have to shave my legs. Bonus. The film is one of these big ensemble casts. There's um, Will Smith, Kate Winslet, Naomi Harris, Kira Knightley, Helen Mirren, loads of recognisable faces. It's a drama more reflective look at the Christmas period. It's um, about Will Smith who is a New York advertising executive and he suffers a big tragedy um, and during the process of kind of living with that tragedy I guess and grieving whatever's happened, I don't know what's happened so I can't tell you that yet, um, he starts writing letters to love time and death and then starts getting some responses which he didn't expect and it's one of those stories where there's lots of interwoven storylines and the characters come into each other's lives but obviously I can't tell you too much because I haven't seen the film yet so hopefully I'll be able to give you a brief overview after the premiere but next time you see me it will probably be on the red carpet where I'll be flapping as usual and probably being told um, to get a move on <laughs> so um, you may notice that I don't have my lashes on anymore because about five minutes after the filming the video they pinged off and I just I remembered why I don't wear lashes I just don't like the risk of them pinging off when you don't know they've pinged off and you know finding them on your cheek or like half bleh, like that like if I bump into like Will Smith and that happens I'm never going to forgive myself so it's easier just not to risk it in my case. So just bald, normal bald lashes I guess which is fine. fun reading it and and you know this kind of idea where you can uh create a movie that has great entertainment value um you know it's really emotional but it also if it you know if it hits you at the right time it's the type of movie that you can take something away for your life you know so i'm, I'm uh I'm thank you edith uh, we're delighted to be back in leicester square for the european premiere of collateral beauty let me get a mic that works 
Uh, thank you, Edith. Uh, we are thrilled to be back in Leicester Square for the European premiere of Collateral Beauty. Uh, and I would like to introduce now, before our incredible cast, the director of Collateral Beauty, Mr. David Frankel. Um, yeah. You rock. Uh, th you know, this, I had to pinch myself every day walking on the set with this extraordinary cast, and um, I just want to introduce uh, them one last time. They, you, I think you know who they are, but uh, starting with uh, the great Jacob Lattimore, the uh, incomparable Naomi Harris, the brilliant Edward Norton, the miraculous Helen Mirren, and a guy who needs absolutely no adjective at all, Will Smith. We talk, we talk now. Um, no, first of all, thank you all for coming out here because it, it's, it's really cold and you stood out here the whole time and we appreciate that. So thank you very much for that. Um, you know, th uh, this was a film that, that we all um, loved making. We had, we had a beautiful time uh, working together. It's a, it, you know, it's a, it's a film about love and time and death and family and it's about laughter and it, you know it's a it's about finding the the, the beauty in the in the darkest moments uh, of our lives so you know we, we we think that we created something uh that is not only entertaining but also uh you know if it touches you at the right moment can uh potentially be helpful and add something to your life so uh, oh, we're talking to the people inside the theaters too, right? We're talking to the people that are about to go see the movie. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, we present to you Collateral Beauty. Um, yes, my makeup probably does look uh, very good now because, yes, I did cry. Surprise, surprise. You know how some Christmas films, they're quite saccharine, they're quite sugary sweet, unrealistically you know cheery this one definitely wasn't like that it was um quite thought provoking um quite sad in fact generally it was quite um it was quite mm, that's my review i've always found if will smith is sad then i am sad it's like a guarantee if i see him distressed upset crying heartbroken i feel it too um He's so captivating and so engaging as an actor. And I think it's also because, you know, in real life, he's always so jolly and happy. So seeing him upset and crying, it affects you even more. Um, there's a twist at the end, which I'm not going to ruin. Um, yeah, thought provoking. It definitely got me thinking about some things that have happened to me this year. And, you know, just dealing with these... Um, sad or traumatic things that we go through in life. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I know I didn't get much on the red carpet today but you got a little taster there anyway. As always I finished my night with a McDonald's although they had run out of strawberry milkshake which was very annoying. Um, I am now going to reply to some emails and go to bed. So thanks for watching. Lots of love. Bye bye.